doing a little bit of a, an experiment here to see what the um, harmonic percolator does to the um, <clears throat> to the waves, the sound waves that are coming into it, um, what happens to the output. So what you're seeing here is um, a tone generated from a signal on my telephone, um, which you can't really see very well here. There you go, that's my telephone. And the signal's going into the harmonic percolator, coming back out, and then I'm sending that into an oscilloscope on an iPad. Um, so you can see there's a, a pure tone being generated there. I was going to turn down the um, volume on the harmonic percolator. If I turn this on now, you should see the signal drop to zero. And we've got two um, controls here. This controls the input into the harmonic percolator, the input volume, and this controls the output volume, so the harmonic percolator, there's nothing actually modifying the circuit at all on that. So if we turn up the input, I'm going to turn up the output a little bit, let's start zero input, turn up the output, and turn up the input, and you can see straight away the difference between that and the clean signal is we've got that little extra peak there if I increase the amount of harmonic percolator going in you can see that that actually gets quite spiky the more you put into it and not only that but we can turn up the volume on my phone to full volume and as I turn up the volume you can see it gets more distorted and as we turn everything on to full we get really spiky if I turn on the clipping diodes, that drops the volume immediately because that prevents the uh, prevents the signal from going further than um, a few milliamps, I believe. And I can turn the volume on the output up to compensate for that. And you can see with the clipping diodes on and the maximum coming into the uh, into the box, it's very spiky. So um, I think what this shows is that it's highly dependent on the amount of inputs. If I turn down the phone, as you can see, the less phone we get, the less spiky the waveform is, the less harmonics now we're on zero. So this is the minimum volume of the phone. If I turn down the input control and harmonic percolator, you can see it's doing nothing until it reaches a, a threshold. It's doing a little bit the waveforms are getting a little bit flattened there as I turn it up and then we're starting to get those peaks and I turn it up turn it up to 11 and we get that interesting looking um, sawtooth type distortion I turn the diodes off again and turn that up there's not much happening there actually interestingly at low volume so with the diodes off the diodes are actually immediately doing something to that sound and uh, with the diodes off I'm not actually getting enough, enough um, power from the phone to do very much to that signal at all if I turn it up I'm turning up the phone output, I'll just bring down the output volume again and we're getting those peaks as we increase the phone output interesting ok let's try it with sound, um, this time I'm using the uh, playing it through a Marshall amp, I've got a Fender Squire Stratocaster, um, I'm on the uh, bridge and middle pickup. Um, first, without the percolator, so you can see, boring. And now, with the percolator on, let's see, we're on full here. Um, I think we've got the diode clipping off, it was off, so let's try it with it off. There we go. There we have it. And 
Let's try with the diode clipping on. I have to turn up the volume a little bit. Diode clipping on, you've got a lot more sustain because um, it's the smaller signal being amplified um, with the clipping. There you go, lovely. There we go. I like it. Should we try turning it down a bit? I'll turn it about halfway, I guess. Turn the power up. It's a little bit less fuzzy this way. It's got a bit more bite to it, I think. So you still get quite a nice distorted sound out of it, but I think it makes things a bit more distinct. Back to the middle pickups.